this video we're going to start to talk about the project browser um, and how it's organized and some of the neat things we can do to to manage the um, the sorting and grouping of the objects so it is controlled at a project um, level so uh, it really depends on which template file you use or which project you're in so I'm just going to click on our sample architectural project inside of here and inside of there I'm going to take my project browser and pull it off here a little bit because it's uh, I need a little bit more room so at the top of the project browser right here you can see it's currently using the configuration um, called all um, and then it's sorting the views so within the project browser there's views and there's all kinds of different views and there's pluses inside of here depending on how you're grouping it and then there's legends and sheets and families and groups etc so we can organize the views and the sheets uh, customized okay the rest of them are not uh, quite the same but the views you can see it's set to be all and sheets are set to be all okay just kind of take note of that and then again you can go in and hit these pluses to go through and uh, and uh, mine down into those so inside of here are all the different views and Revit is really just slicing and dicing of uh, a 3D model and you can look at it from the outside etc as well so there's perspective views which is what I'm looking at inside of here if I go to 3D views I'm looking at this view in here I can double click on here and go into a kitchen view and look inside of there etc and then each view of course has its properties down inside of here okay you can see all that information notice it says perspective and that means it's kind of a camera view if you go to double click on the regular 3d view this is not uh, a camera view and I'm using a shift middle mouse button and my wheel button here to zoom and um, orbit around so each view has its properties you have to um, remember that and and view properties of course can be controlled by view templates we've talked about that in other lessons so in our project browser we have the views themselves and how we have these views organized in here we can customize that okay we can also customize how our sheets are right now there isn't any sheets if I right click on here and say new sheet and then I can go in here I need to load a template file or title block so I'll go into here and scroll down to title blocks okay note note where I am inside of here okay just making a sheet uh, title blocks and I'll just pick my D size hit OK and load that in and make a new sheet so I have a new sheet there it is I can now right click and say new sheet make another one right click new sheet make another one okay so now I have some sheets named accordingly and I can place my views on those sheets okay so these are the sheets and these are the views and I'm kind of drilling that home before we go on to our next step which is how to organize these um, particular elements within Revit so if we go to the view tab over here and we go to user interface we can go down to browser organization now I should point out a couple things first thing is I'm going to be doing a lot of this in the next little while so I'm going to right click on here and say add to quick access toolbar and it's going to put it over here so now I can just pick on there okay notice how this is available if you actually go to a 3d view that's a perspective view for instance one of these guys inside of here okay and then you go to your user interface or I should say over to here you'll notice this browser organization gets disabled I'm not sure why but when you're in a perspective view you cannot access the browser organization a regular 3d view you can okay so what we want to do is oh just a sec I didn't switch views there we go um, in here and browser organization so this is you'll notice inside of here there's two distinct tabs there's the views there's some view configurations and then there's different ways of adding renaming and editing those configurations you see it says all here well that's what the all meant back inside of here If I go back to here and I close this off and I look at here it see it says sheets all views all okay if I go into here and go to project browser sheets and views are both set to be all 
Okay. You can pick on one and hit edit to modify it without making it the current one. You can only make one of these organization configurations current. Okay. So there's the views, which is the, all of the guys inside of here, and then there's the sheets. And you can organize them and create new ones and add project parameters and do some really neat stuff. So inside of views it's currently set to be view by all and that's a factory setting. You can't even actually go in and edit or, or do anything. In fact you can't really see how it's actually sorted. Uh, but if you pick on one of these guys for instance which are out of the box configurations and again it is based on the project. If you save it in your project template file you will have that view kind of uh, configuration already available in here. So uh, let's just say we want to change it. So let's take note of a couple things. We'll just talk about the views here. So we have floor plans, ceiling plans, 3D views elevation. So it's grouping by the uh, looks like the view type and then the view name from what I can tell. But if you're not sure what you can do is go in here, hit browser organization it's set to be all you can't really change it let's change it to be disciplined so make it current you don't have to pick it you just have to check it so discipline now is going to change the sorting only for the views so click on here so now what it's doing is it's going and it's, see it says discipline here it's sorting by the discipline and then by the view type and then by the view name okay architectural coordination views so the discipline of the views. Okay, if you pick in this view right here, okay, it has a discipline. Every view has a discipline. This is an architectural discipline. If I change the discipline of this 3D view, which is um, under here right now, okay, it's this view. If I go in here and change it to be coordination, it'll reorganize itself under the coordination. Now it's over here. It's the same view, but it's resorted itself because I changed the discipline of the view and this is sorting by discipline. If I take this view and I change the discipline to be uh, plumbing, it'll create a new discipline right here called plumbing and it'll put that 3D view in there. So the views are organized in this case by the discipline of the view. So each view, if you go into this view, level one, okay, here you go, this view, the discipline of this view is set to be architectural. If I set it to be mechanical, Revit's going to create a new mechanical um, folder here and it's going to put it in there and then go by view type and then by view name. So if I go back into here and go back into my browser organization and I hit edit, I can see exactly how it's sorting. It's grouping first by the discipline of the view then by the family type and then and then it just stops there so discipline and family type and then once it's does that division up then it sorts it by the view name within that so at the lowest level it sorts it by the name but it groups it see it says group by then by then by so these are the groups which are the top ones and then once it gets down to the actual view itself it sorts it by view name and you can change that as well Okay, so the name of the view rather than the detail level of the view or the uh, template of the view or the associated level of the view. Okay, so grouped, 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 sorted. So you, you could go in and change this if you want. I'm not going to, I'm just going to kind of leave that that way. Then we have this other one that's very handy here that says not on sheets. Well, watch what happens. I'm just going to hit cancel here. I'm going to go to my sheets and I'm going to go to my unnamed and I can rename that, but I'm going to take my level 2 floor plan and put it on this sheet and I'll take my level 3 floor plan oh it's a different scale or the crop region is bigger at least oh it's got the site plan on there so I've got a couple of different views placed on this sheet okay now I'm going to go to another sheet and maybe put some elevations on there scrolling down this one's going to have elevations pick over here pan over a little bit and then go to my elevation views and say OK, north elevation, place it on there. And let's just leave it at one. So I have a couple of views that are actually on sheets. Okay, and I would need to clean this up a little bit, crop it and stuff. But 
Now watch what I can do. I can go back into my browser organization. I can go into here and I can say okay sort my views by not on sheets. What this is going to do is it's going to group all of the views first of all that aren't on sheets first. Okay, views not on sheets, floor plans, ceilings, okay? And the thing is the views that are on sheets aren't actually even being viewed in here at all. So watch, if I go to floor plans, level 1 is here, okay? Level 2 and 3 are not there, okay? Because they're on a sheet. So watch how they do that. Oh, again, back to here. Browser organization, not on sheets. Okay, not on sheets. If I hit edit on this, it says group by the family type and then by the view name, but it uses a filter and what it does is it filters it and says filter by sheet name equals to none. In other words, it's only going to show the sheet names uh, filter by if the, if the sheet name is equal to none for the view and these views don't have sheet names because they're not on sheets so watch what happens cancel if I go into for instance this sheet uh, let's go to this one okay I'm gonna take this level and delete it off the sheet delete watch what's gonna happen boom all of a sudden it appears over here because these are being filtered to show the views that are not on sheets if the view is on a sheet it actually physically will not show up in here. So that's a good kind of, even if a temporary view of, you want to know all the views that haven't been placed on sheets because you might want to go in and delete a bunch of them depending on what they do and who created them. Likewise, if I go to my elevations and I say south, uh, east, south, and west, okay, let's go down to here. There's a sheet. I'm going to take my uh, let's take my call out of north and drag that elevational view over to this sheet and watch what happens. Boom. Pick on there. It disappears from here because now it's down on this sheet over here. So this is a really great way. Okay. Back into here. Browser organization. Views. So then we have by phase. Now again, you can pick it and edit it without making it current. If you click on here, it actually makes it current. So it's it's good to just go in and have a look at first how it's going to sort by the view it's going to group it by the view phase then then group it under that by the view family and type and then it's not going to do anything and it's going to sort it within those groups by the view type but the main thing is it's first going to group by phase then you can always go over in here and see if there's any filters inside of there as well again these are all strictly just for the views uh, type and discipline let's make that current and let's go have a look at what it's going to do family type then by discipline then by uh, nothing and then finally by view name so just some different sorting methods again no filtering so the only one that seems to be filtering by default is this edit on sheets that says filter so that the only show the views that have a sheet name that equals none rather than pick a sheet name on here which you can do okay and you can also pick some different options inside of here so these are just different this is a property of the view that's all it is okay so uh, you can take this browser and pick one of these and make it current and just hit apply and then it does it or you you, you can do it while you're inside of here or you can just hit OK if you want and then you can go in and hit edit and you can say new if you want you say new and then you'll uh, you can create a new one in there we'll do that in our next lesson so a little bit of information on uh, the project browser and uh, views